That's doing it. And that's my goal every time I go up. <laughs> you have succeeded. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, afternoon, evening. Welcome to... You sound rough as a badger's ass. Popcornography, episode 18. And I know, I don't think I've ever actually done a podcast. Hungover. Not being hungover. <laughs> <laughs> the last one we did, I just got back from York. Leeds, wasn't it? Oh, no, York. Oh, yeah. I think the other one was probably Leeds. I, I honestly don't think I've ever done one. So, yeah, we're all a little bit Jesus. tired. We were all... <laughs> sorry, yeah. That was a change in volume. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're all a bit tired, aren't we? We were all out. John. Yeah. We were. Uh, Dean. Yeah. Cause, Graham. Yep. Because someone came in the room with a bottle of spirits and shared it all out. <laughs> that, yeah, to be honest, if I hadn't drank them... Shut up. How that, many, it was about that, six shots. That oh. blew my head off, that. It's 20% honey rum. It still blew my head off, though. Be it was quite strong. Off. What was it? It's only twenty percent. I don't get so it. Tasted it tasted strong. It did taste strong. It was lovely though. It's easy to drink. Yeah. Deny it. It's what we got on holiday from the Chinese in those uh, mm. honey shot glasses. You know, it was nice. It was nice when they had liquid ah. in. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That picture at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Oh baby. No one ever got to keep one of them, did they? No, no they keep a careful eye I on you. Yeah, yeah, I bet they do. You got people going to nick one. Yeah, yeah. Stripper on the bottom. I want one. John got a male one. Mm-hmm. I've got 12 of them now. <laughs> so I to buy, I'm going to buy a set of them on. I'm going to try and find some online and buy some. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're missing Simon. But it's all right. Don't panic. The facts are covered, aren't they, Graham? They are indeed. And I play to a higher standard. Oh, don't ever hear you say that. Oh, dear me. And, and I've got my own question. So I don't have to go through that shit again. Oh, that's for the <laughs> would you rather... Now I just need to, like the Would You Rather is a new podcast thing we're doing, but it's not on the feed of popcornography because it's not really to do anything anything to do with films. So I thought we'd keep it separate. But if you fancy it, just search Would You Rather and look for the little popcornography thing on there. Because I think there of, is another one on there called Would You Rather, but this one's better. This yeah. one's a better one. It can have explicit content as well. That's another. It's a little bit rude. It can it does? It, it's pretty rude. The first episode was brilliant, so... It wasn't brilliant at all. <laughs> it was. It was horrendous. So check that out if, if you fancy something a bit different. Um, and then we've got a good Popcorn Wars for next week as well. The greatest Spielberg movie. And he's done... He's done a... He's done some... He's an amazing he's director. Some... Without him, you... Like... Some of the films that we wouldn't never have. Can it, I just it, say, I've got a prediction of what's going to win that alone, just because you alone was a massive <laughs> bitch bit. Uh, Spit your toy dummy out. Toys will go flying out the pram. Do you know what? My, my thought's exactly there. Well, as soon as you mention Steven Spielberg. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. What, E.T.? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's my mission to make sure that that's going to get to the final. <laughs> if I have to bribe everyone else, I will bribe everyone else. We'll see. You'll put that up against some really good films. Yeah, just to make sure. No, don't be looking. That's for next week. Tune in for next week for that one. That'll be fun. Who's them chocolate button jars? Yeah. You should mix them in with your tuna and mash. Yeah. It's already a weird concoction. You never know. That could be amazing. We could we could get that on the market. Yeah, you don't think. Tuna Cheesy mash mixed with tuna and chocolate buttons. Yeah. yeah. Cheese and chocolate, eh, John? Mate, that doesn't sound right. Oh, I don't yeah. recall a migraine coming on yesterday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pass it here. Before we went out, he had chocolate yeah. and cheese. And he, he was it. he was fine. And, and we Googled. Weird that, innit? We Googled, uh, does chocolate and cheese crave hair yeah. And it's proven that it doesn't. But it was white chocolate, though. I think it's only dark chocolate. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, give over. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about your ass, you. I'm not, I'll tell you what, right, I, I do not want to put it to the test, but I can probably guarantee that'll be my trigger. You didn't put anyway, it to the test. Anyway, I'm not going to be migraines. I think it's giving me a headache, chocolate and cheese. Oh, that's You're giving me an headache now, that's sure. That's maybe why I'm feeling a bit rough. That, that'll explain it. Yeah. <laughs> chocolate and cheese combo, it's a killer. <laughs> oh, so, let's... It affects us all, people. Go around and we'll see if anyone's watched much in the last two weeks. Do you want to start, Graham? Certainly. Um, I have watched 
no films in the last two weeks, okay. uh, other than watching King's yeah, League. And one, you watched one with me? Oh, yes, we watched Amazing Runner the other night. Oh, have you, that's a good yeah, film, though. Yeah, I didn't mind that. Rick's finally seen it a year after it's I was going to say, it's been a It while. just looked a bit teenagery. It was just a lot of young lads, and I was like, I don't know if that is any good. But I enjoyed it. It was. Yeah, it wasn't it, too it was bad. Um, there's a lot of questions, isn't there? I quite like that. Yeah. If you want to watch the next one now, because you want to know what's going to happen. Which is out next month. Which is out next month, yeah. Did that come out last Christmas? Uh, the bean got that, yeah. Yeah, we're bringing one out per Christmas, like Hunger Games. And... We're well, watching like Christmas, Christmas in September, is it? Well, you know what I mean. like the <laughs> Absolute butt one. Anything people. September onwards is kind of Christmassy period. <laughs> Are you yeah. fucking joking? We're not even in the autumn yet. Well, if you look at games releases and stuff. Well, like for Christmas. where I work, we kind of see it as the Christmas. Like we bring in the Christmas temps in like in the next week. We've got Christmas temps starting next week. So because game thinks it's Christmas. So in my head, it's the world, Christmas period, isn't it? It's That's like the all third quarter. Like uh, sexual predator harassment cards. <laughs> yeah. Given out to them yet? But, yeah. I think they're all boy. Oh no, there is a girl. Again, as they've been given sexual harassment. <sighs> <laughs> I, I, I behave myself at work actually. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So many comments. That's anyway. Gemma who I met. History there. Oh, yeah, yeah, at work. <laughs> every girl I've met has been at work. It's so maybe go, where you're going wrong. Maybe. Sorry, just podcast time to a counselling session or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're holding my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, yeah, carry yeah, on. Great, yeah, great, great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. we watched the uh, Maze Runner um, the other night. Mm. Uh, a re- rewatch for me, um, which I, I thought was a pretty cool film from the first time I watched it. Uh, we also educated John with uh, The Kingsman the other week, last week. Good film. Awesome. Oh, and uh, Pitch Perfect too. No, I love uh, the clarify. Uh, I'm going to clarify. We'll come back when you watch you watch. Yeah, yeah, right, okay, I yeah, really yeah. I really need to clarify something no, on that you point. Don't. I really, really do. I really, really do. You I wanted really, to clarify that really no. you loved it. Um, and I've spent most of the last two weeks simply watching The Last Ship. Yeah, because I told him to watch it. Four seasons uh, in the last two weeks, and wow. Yeah, thank you. However, Say as, that again. Uh, wow. Thank you. Um, as Gemma's here, I'm not going to say too much about it because I believe she's going to start watching it. No, 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 of course he's not watched it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, we won't have spoilers. It's fine. Um, right, I'll start watching it. It's, it's, add, it's added, that. John's going to add it to I'll the have back to of Game of Thrones, go on. Jesus. Do you know Sean Bean dies in that, yeah? Mm. <laughs> he, do, he does in the last ship as well, John. <laughs> John, you're back. It's, it's Dean's job to do so many things to watch. But that's basically made my two weeks. How many last ship? Last ship. Well, me usually always up to date with things. I finally got round to watching the Fantastic Four. You went to see that? You, oh, the what? first one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, well, I wish it, wish it was the first one. You keep this quiet, don't you? Why well, did you bother? I wish it was the, well, I had to see how bad it was. Right, it, is it, it as it bad as shit. people are saying? It'll yes. be shit. Yes, yes. The trailer really? shit. The storyline shit. I'll tell you why the storyline shit, because it's exactly the same as the fucking Apparently first Apparently the trailer one. has a lot of stuff in that it's not actually in the film. There's like certain... It, right, is the you know the bit where the rock guy <laughs> falls? Ben. Yeah, yeah, for, like he's falling out of the thing. helicopter and attacking some base. Is that in the film? Uh, yeah, little clips and stuff, but there's no like l- long action scene or anything. All right. It's if you want, if you want to do a spoiler, do as many as you want because I'm not going to watch it. Definitely not. It was not bad. Not because I'm not going to watch it. It was really bad. Everything you read about it was true. Right. Pacing. It was the pacing. The storyline was boring. Even when the action kicks off, by the end of it, you don't even care. Right. And you've lost the will to live. It was just a horrible, really? horrible film. It, wow. it, I don't know why they they didn't pick up on it. It's just not a good film. How do they do? How like yeah, especially in nowadays, do, like how big superhero movies are and how like easy money, isn't it? These superhero mm. films. How can you mess up something like that? Well, like like I said before, I've done a few podcasts before. If you're a director and you're thinking, hang on a minute, I need possibly a plan B here because plan A ain't going to ain't going to plan. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? Uh, the most thinking, the, the most thinking, the minds. We're doing shit here, lads. Let's uh, let's have a contingency plan. In, there was a lot yeah. of issues while making it. I think wasn't that? Didn't one of the directors get sacked halfway through? Yeah, I think was, there was some controversy with and surrounding it. He tweeted saying my version would have been better than that. In, in, in words, it's similar to that. 
Um, so I think it was just it got stuck in some kind of development hell, mm. and it just because it just it, feels flat. The whole movie just feels yeah. flat from start to finish. Apparently, you can see like when the directive parts change, and they had to refilm bits. Right. But, and that girl, she had she cut her hair after the filming had finished, and then because she had to come back, we had to put a wig on her. And the wig styling was completely different. And so from one shot to another, she's got a completely <laughs> oh, different set of hair. And it just sounds like a mess. So I, I wouldn't, I'm not even bothering with the Blu ray. I'm not. Don't think it helps. I've never been a big fan of the Fantastic Four anyway. Nah, I haven't. I didn't think it needed a remake. I, I, it's, nope. it's over, overdone. They were thinking of doing an X Men Fantastic Four crossover. And we're going to see how well Fantastic Four did. Well, that's not going to happen. No. No. Nope. That's the last which I'm glad though I didn't want them to mess with X-Men because I think they're doing that right Yeah, Brian Singer and, and what he's done for it I think it's it's on the right track and I can't wait for next year's film some huge films amazing. coming out next year it isn't they just next year's going to be good right Kingsman yeah brilliant really oh, that good. fight scene in the church uh, I, I've, I would never have thought I think he cleaned his pants Colin Firth yeah I would never put him in that sort of role. I know, yeah. Never. I know. But I tell you what, he he really polished that role off quite nicely. Yeah. Even the fight scenes, you're thinking, whoa, why on a sec, he's doing all right here, you yes. know? You know, um, really, really oh. pulled it off quite nicely. Um, great storyline, great acting, you know, it was really good. Pitch Perfect 2. Now... It's the greatest film you've ever seen. No, I'm on a sec, I'm on a sec, right? Um, now... I, I did watch it, yes, I must admit I did watch it, but I think I watched about half of it. I'll tell you the reason why. Um, because I didn't get to hear it. Now, can you clarify, Gemma, why I didn't get to hear it? I don't know, I heard it all. Did you? I'll be honest, I was I sat heard... there as well, and I heard a lot of it. Yeah. Because I had, uh, I don't know, um, about... Can I just say that after watching the film, John's only complaint was that he wanted to watch the first one before he watched the second. Good luck. And that is actually backed up on Facebook in writing from well, John. To be honest, right, I mean, yeah, Pitch Perfect 2, I wanted to watch the first one because I wanted to see what that, what all the hype was about on the first one. Don't want to watch Chinese. No offence. Just had a Sunday dinner. No, thank you. Um, so anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Hang on, hang on, sorry, John, hang on. Where? Well, I've forgotten my eye the recorder. Oh, so, you went to your so I bombed home dinner. after work, and then Sunday dinner was on the table for me. So I was like, oh, oh, like that is it? So, so you yeah, move in here for the weekend, <sighs> and go on for your Sunday dinner, and then come back to my house again. Yeah, and drink your tea, drink eat your tea. chocolate. Uh, There's any more? Yeah, yeah. Um, put my card if you want. But yeah, I didn't really get to hear much of it. Because oh, the conversation yeah, the the bloody We watched room. the final bit about seven times because it kept. Stopping. John requested to watch now, it more than once. Well, you, you lot as well were saying what was it's not a girly film and stuff, it's something worth watching. It's not really girly. Yet you two were posting pictures of Facebook snuggled up to each other when you're watching it. Maybe so it did turn us a little bit. That was a beautiful bit. moment. Hmm. It was a beautiful moment. To be honest, I've never been comfier. I'm glad it was captured on film. <laughs> So you, you were comfortable with your I think wasn't should, that type of moment. I think for the next podcast we should do it all like, like, like <laughs> and set it up. But from what I saw, it wasn't too bad. No, it's not as gleeish, is it? It's no. not. We'll watch, it's got, we'll watch it, both I'll, I'll watch the first one now. I really will. Okay. Um, who, who is it? Uh, well, that um, Is it Ian Hamilton from Movie Generations? Yeah. Yeah, so I've finally done it. Um, <laughs> but I've done it kind of in reverse order. And I'll probably have to watch the second one again because I didn't really hear much of it. That's all right. We'll happily w- uh, help you bra- embrace your inner gay. Well, we <laughs> still haven't had this. We still haven't had this. The the night film watching oh, yeah. snuggle pajama pillow oh, fight whoa, night. Whoa, 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 whoa. Have we? Let's all settle down here. Yeah? Well, I am. Um, I am not. Wearing this was pajamas. promised to us last. <laughs> oh, oh, Dean! It's not that kind of party. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather you wear something. Yeah, please do, Dean. With boxes of Kleenex. <laughs> That's just getting worse, we'll just leave it. What? There. Bring your nightgown and your uh, candlestick. <laughs> so we just, now, we just need to get Simon to watch Love Actually, and my uh, mission is complete. I've never seen that. Really? No. I don't You've bro. seen it? You made me watch it. It's good, isn't it? It is good. What, yeah, thank you. See, that, that's what I can't... Like, You've seen it. People have to be like forced into watching it. I just don't get it. It's a brilliant film, isn't it? Yeah. 
like you know, it's you know got honestly, so many good would, actors in. As you manned up and I tell you what, I would all stay here for the film night. We'll and he wouldn't him. right. We watched Family Guy yesterday, and there's a scene at the end of the Christmas one where Stewie gives uh, gets a present off his teddy, and it's the music CD, and he and he's like, oh, thank you so much, and he's like, so who was that necklace for? And he goes upstairs and he's crying. It sees, um, and it's the city they're taking the mick and they take they took that from Love Actually. So I feel I've done it. And that have gone straight over your head. No, 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 you do. No, that, it, there's about seven films in one in that. That's why I quite like it. You follow different, yeah, every, like one. every di- like a different type of every relationship. Do you know what I mean? There's a married couple, there's the mm. ones who just have sex couples. A bit like that tale of tales, John. That's that's loads of different stories in, doesn't it? Did you see the trailer? That's not a tale. Oh, of that tales. again. Yeah. <laughs> not that kind of tale of tales. What's happened to that movie? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The most weirdest fucked up pile of shite. It was weird. I have ever had the misfortune of actually watching. Trailer wise. Have you watched anything else? Um, no. I tell you, there's one film that I wouldn't mind watching, and it's been on Facebook quite a well. People have shared quite a few links on it. I know it's been out for ages, but Tom Hardy plays him as Bronson. Bronson's good. I wouldn't mind. It's a masterclass in acting. It's so good. I've seen that. Um, there's been a few links on Facebook shared. He's he's been writing about I don't know his human rights and all this sort of jazz yeah, and yeah, prison yeah. and stuff. And it's just made me think. Well, there was a film brought out about him. I yeah. wouldn't mind watching watch it, it. So watch it. It gets his character just right. I mean, yeah. he's he's really clever, but he's a psychopath, mm. and he's very like violent and just. Uh, but that is some brilliant acting mm. that's what got tom hardy on my radar like that's when i realized how good he was mm. um have you i take it you've not seen that team no no i can i know what it's about but i've not, not seen, seen it, it. Uh, what, bronson? bronson yeah i have yeah it's good isn't it yeah i like bronson yeah, yeah. give that a go no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna get it, I'm gonna give it to a be honest call. that's the one reason i won't watch the new one about the craze cray twins yeah that, the, have you ever seen the uh the original that's out soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah that i thought that was brilliant no. With Martin Kemp and no. Ro- um, not Ross Kemp, <laughs> uh, no, not Kemp. The the triple, yeah, 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 really good, really good. I haven't seen that. No, um, I think that I think the new one's out this. Is it this Friday? It's out soon, isn't it? Oh, I yeah, think so. Yeah, week, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I saw the trailer for it when I went to see. Um, is that sorry? Is that all your movies? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I went to see that Southpaw with Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh yeah. Um, mm. bloody had subtitles didn't it they'd already paid to go in and they'd text me going I'll get seat number so and so I was like right and then I buy, bought my tickets and she was like it's for the hard of hearing is that okay now usually that, I, I thought they meant yeah, you could you had the option of headphones if you you, you can turn it off <laughs> no <laughs> hard so, of hearing and have headphones yeah like oh yeah. sorry no hard I don't know I don't know what it was <laughs> Give them headphones, that'll help. I, I, I don't know. So, anyway, yeah, we sat down and then subtitles come up. Like, oh. Did but, you read the subtitles? Yeah, for the, for the first ten minutes, yeah. I couldn't do anything other than watch, like, read. I was just reading. But I eventually started to ignore them. Um, the film was really good. I put a little review up. It was um, it was very dark. Um, and it's, it's quite depressing throughout most of it. And the way he write, like, he... he rises back up happens very quickly um it's like rocky in fast forward if mm. that makes sense but again jake you know what you're getting from him he's a brilliant actor yeah. he, he was spot on in that um and then the name of what's that fella oh, called you, what, you sit still what are you doing <laughs> sorry what's that black guy called with the wonky eye oh, oh forrest what again yeah that's the fella he I n- he never oh, really sorry. impresses me. That was the best spelling of his name ever on that review you did. It was right, wasn't it? No. I sp- you wrote I sp- Forrest is in a forest. <laughs> did I? Yeah. Okay. Wow. I also it's spelled right. Jake, Jake Gillen all wrong. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. That's for I doing it in Photoshop, it doesn't give you spell check, and I didn't yeah, like yeah, to say yeah, no. so maybe spell check I check things constantly it. over, but you just go blind to it. It's Bloody weird. Best wearing students. Hey. Didn't that get negative reviews as well? What, best wearing students? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, J- no, South, South Park, no. It's quite high on IMDb. I think it's 7.6 or something. Um, which is pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Um, no, it's definitely worth a watch. It's really good. But it is like Rocky mixed with like 8 Mile. That's the best way to explain it. Mm. So it's kind of like yeah. the gritty kind of 
thing. But um, no, I was I was pretty happy with it. Um, I watched Kingsman again yeah. separately to you guys, but that just because it's so good. I did notice though watching the Blu-ray that, that you know the fight at the end when yes. he's fighting the woman with the scissors on her feet, or whatever she is. The scissors on her feet. Yeah. Yeah. There's the a bit na- where he jumps over, yeah. and it's so CGI'd, and I yeah. never noticed that in the cinema. Yeah. And also the version I watched cut out one of the funniest parts in the film, the bit where he's talking to the princess. Did I tell you about this? He's talking oh, to the princess through, the yeah, through the, the prison door, and she's saying, like, you know, you're going to go and save the world, and she yeah. said, look, I'll kiss you or something. Well, in the cinema version I watched, she goes, um, I'll let you do me up the bum, and then he says, I'll be right back, and runs off, and it was quite funny. And it's completely cut out of the, the version I watched. And then at the end, when it pans down, a, like when he goes into the room with her, pans down right on, you see all her bum and everything. And it in this one, it cuts to the side, so you don't see it. I was a bit like, oh, I don't. Because the, the one I saw I see, is no. where he goes in, and she's sat on the so- yeah. like, sat on the sofa, yeah, 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 yeah. he closes the door, and then that's it. No, like you see it go, the camera pans down her back and onto her, onto her ass. And that's how the film ends. Brilliant, but they they changed it. The so. motherfuckers. I know. She had a lovely bum as well. That's what annoyed me so much. I wanted to see a bum again. I'll be honest. I watched the entire film just for that one scene. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't there. Right at the end, and it wasn't there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nah, but it was good. Eh, what else did I watch? The Maze Runner, which I thought was good. Um, last ship. I've, I've watched the last, last right up to the season two end. Uh, which we were talking about it the other day, the season ending. Yeah. Felt like it should have ended on season episode nine, not ten. Yeah. Episode nine was such a good episode. Episode ten was a bit. Yeah. It, it felt like flat I said a bit. to you, it was almost like they've gone. That's it. The season's complete. And went. No, no, no. Hang on, that's only nine. Like, oh shit. Uh, we better squeeze something in. Put something in. Yeah. And it kind of it's a bit mishmashed. It's a bit all over the yeah, place. Yeah, because we'd have been waiting for season three yeah like wondering what what, uh, yeah. what the hell's gonna happen yeah and it's already happened and there's not much what's it about and obviously it's about a ship i'm guessing but what's it actually it's about? about um a naval battleship that gets goes to an icon on a routine mission a training exercise and it turns out that they're carrying a doctor who's doing some research and what has happened is there's a, a virus that's taken over the world and this doctor's looking for the cure and they're looking at the battleship and then it turns out that the but the by the time they get what they need, the queue is pretty much uh, sorry the, the yeah the world's the world's pretty much screwed. Added. And then there's various twists and turns about uh, the queue itself, uh, the dynamics of the crew and how they're interacting. Uh, people that they thought were dead that maybe aren't dead. Some that are they're worrying about their dead. families and yeah. stuff. Yeah, and like. Having some kind of control, having like that kind of, you know, commander in chief and 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 working for the navy, even when the world's going to shit and really nothing matters. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's, like it would, wouldn't it? Everything, all kind of levels of um, authority would just collapse, I guess, if if the world's gone to mm. shit. But it's about how they. It is quite American, and it it's oh, very yeah. patriotic and stuff. The captain's amazing, though. He's brilliant. Like, yeah, I don't. I can't even remember what he's called, but he yeah. is. He's so good. Yeah. Um. But as I was saying to you as well, the guy who plays the chief of the uh, master chief. Yeah. The colour guy. He he's he another one. He think I Just, think he should have more. Yeah, underutilized. Whereas the the XO, mm-hmm. the second in command. Yeah. I don't know. I don't connect with him as much as I do with the other two. Yeah, he's a bit. You think? Oh, I yeah. thought there would be a bit of a conflict between them two early in the season. Yeah, but I it hasn't like developed, it. has it? No. Yeah, no, I'd definitely give it a watch. Sounds good. It is. It, it is, good. honestly. It makes you want to join the Navy. On Like, I fr- yeah. <laughs> you just think, oh, I'd love to do that. Mm. It's weird. It's probably one of their it's best recruiting to be, tools. Yeah. Though. You just want to be wear a sailor suit and float around the sea. I've got a sailor boys. suit, you're right. 100%. Yeah, and I can't run away if you run a ship. Exactly. Got the black mark on it, haven't you? Uh? Have you got that out? Black- oh, black- yeah, yeah, black mark on my sailor outfit. Oh, right. I wonder, where did that come from again, John? My hair. Yeah, because someone decided to go as Neo, <laughs> and because he's ginger, he had to dye his hair black. <laughs> and I, mine's a bright white it's suit. Mediterranean light brown. And I'm like, do not touch me with your hair. And then right at the end of the night, 
head charges into my chest. <laughs> Oh, I would have paid money to see that. <laughs> oh, it is for, I hope we'd forgotten. In fact, Graham, you yeah. would have been proud of me because it was like an NFL moment. Good lad. <laughs> you were dying to do that from the start, weren't you? Oh, Dry so clean only as well, you bastard. Literally, I mean, we're talking pure, like, pure it's white. never here. been washed. Pure white. It's and the I proper had, navy outfit. Yeah. Black on. Get in. You bastard. I want to wear that again. Let's do it. We'll have a fancy dress shop. Oh, I want to find somewhere. Because you can't get fancy dress shops as good as that anymore. That one was like a... Oh, the one near the cinema. It was in oh, Borough, wasn't it? Where yeah, was I don't know where. Yeah, it was in Borough. It was up past. Uh, where was it? It was just a random street. Linthorpe Road, somewhere up there, yeah. like on the side. I don't think it's there anymore. But it was ones that you'd rent, so the proper good ones. And then, but mine, like after a number of times worn, they'd sell them. Yeah. So they're really good. Whereas a lot of the stuff you yeah. buy for fancy dress are cheap, shitty, horrible yeah. things. So that's, that's what, what the I like one there used to be. That one up near the theatre in town. Right, that was really good because they. Did we need to find one because we yeah. are we, fancy dresses are always good fun. Mm, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I'm still up in the air for like what to do for my birthday, so I could possibly. I don't know though. I don't know yet. I'll have a think. So what's now then? What we're doing now? News. 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 Wait, can I, can we do the fast just because? Yeah. Uh, my laptop's gonna be otherwise. Dean, would you like to do the fast jingle? What a fact jingle today, do we? I do, yeah. Who does it normally? Uh, Dean. Yeah, oh, yeah, there you go then. Oh, yeah, it's for Sam, isn't it? It's usually Simon's corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it's, it's Graham's corner today. <laughs> I'm going to keep me. Uh, I'm really ears. excited for his Popcorn Wars theme yeah. tune again. I'm going to keep my ears open for this one. Go on, yeah. Dean. I'm actually going to not put my fingers in my ears. I don't on. believe you, John. Uh, no, we hand it. Look. You will always. Gemma, do something with my hands, please. Oh, no. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> This, one, this one's like the proper jingle. The proper jingle is usually the word. This one is just like just an introduction right, on, to the facts then. <laughs> Graham's Corner. Very good. Has somebody died? I love how he sits. He must sit I thought it was turning very American. Uh, yeah, there, yeah. Isn't it? Like, I'm just I'm looking for like a funeral hearse to be honest. Hey, hey. There won't be one after this. Well, well, it's a coincidence, by the way. One of the facts you're looking at and what I'm looking at. to do with that. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah. So the first fact thank you, is uh, a Robin Williams... Yeah, thank you, Dean. Yeah, uh, a Robin Williams fact. Mm. While recording the voice of Jeannie in Aladdin, Robin, Robin Williams frequently received calls from Steven Spielberg, who was working on Schindler's List. He would put him on speakerphone so that he could tell jokes to the cast and crew to cheer them up. Some of these jokes made it into the animated feature. Very good. I like that one. Thanks. The legend that is Robin Williams. Mm. The legend that Robbie is. Williams to Dean. <laughs> Don't you notice there as well when Graham delivered that? He sounded very much like Simon. The way you said, the way you said that towards the end. Oh, yeah. The end bit of your fact, it sounded yeah. like Simon. Thanks. Mm. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> How do you check that, Graham? Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, the next fact is. Uh, Maybe he should be our fat guy all the time. and Yeah. Yeah. He, he could the be dark, taken over from Sai. Yeah. The Dark Knight. <laughs> I'm only joking, Simon. We we miss you. Yeah, right. Um, the Dark Knight. Uh, the strange music that plays during a Joker scene in The Dark Knight was inspired by the sound of a razor blade. The, sorry, the sound a razor blade makes on a piano wire. Right. How did they How did they find that out? Well, I mean, maybe we just got a piano <laughs> wire one day. What what I'd be, like to. What would make you think of doing that, though? You know, that'd be a good job, wouldn't it? Doing sound effects for movies. Yeah. Like, they have to do some weird stuff. Oh, yeah, but I mean, like, some of the stuff, because I, I would never think of getting a razor blade and going, oh, hang on a minute, I might see what that Well, that's what they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They could just hire me. Yeah, they could. I could jingle them. Oh, yeah, yeah, just, uh, yeah. yeah. Just come and cripple the aim ups. Fact three, yeah. Fact three is an Iron Man fact. Iron Man's computer, Jarvis, is an acronym for just a rather very intelligent system. Well, it is, yeah, I guess. It's also an acronym for... Jelly, apple, rhubarb, visor. Is shit. Is shit, yeah. So we'll stick with the actual Jarvis. <laughs> I thought this is why you don't do the facts. I thought mine was better. And I thought we'd end with a hook for you. Look at the muscles on him. Uh, 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 hook, that's uh, actually a picture of John. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I did think. Uh, a hook fact. Lou Verino, who has either played 
or voiced the Incredible Hulk in every live action incarnation since 1978, including both Hulk movies and the Avengers. So, so when he's the Hulk, he makes the kind of like yes, yeah, so because he, he doesn't really talk like the oh, so the, the main one have been like puny god. Yeah. He just said that. Yeah. So he's either acted as the Hulk or voiced the Hulk's um, character. All right, very good. And and that's my four facts. Brilliant. Thank it's you like, very it's like much. More lines than Groot. Hey. Yeah. 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 Uh, right. News. We don't need a jingle for news. It sells itself. Uh, right. We'll quickly blast through it. Bill Murray and Ozzy Osbourne. Ain't afraid of no reboot. See what I did there? Uh, uh, both reported to appear in the 2016 female-led Ghostbusters. Who? Bill Murray, who was in the original yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Ozzy you... Osbourne. Ozzy Osbourne. Well, he's very gothic-y and yeah. kind of fits. He's I, a singer, not an actor. I think the rumours are that he's going to be doing a gig and something happens where the Ghostbusters are needed. Yeah? I think. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see. That would be the easiest way to fit him in. Um, over the last two weeks, we've had the year anniversary of Robin Williams' death. God, is that... That's Jesus. gone fast. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. That's gone quick, hasn't it? Um, but yeah, it was good to see all of the kind of tributes and stuff again. Yeah. He was, he was brilliant. Uh, Masterminds, the film that was coming out that stars... Um, that weird na- guy's name. Him from Hangover with the baby. Uh, Zach Gavinagas. Yeah, that's the fella. And him. Oh, Owen Wilson. Um, yeah, yeah. Owen Wilson. and her. Yeah, I don't know it. That's her from Ghostbusters, isn't yeah. it? She's the main lead. And the other fella. Um, it looked really good. The trailers looked brilliant. It looked so funny. I'll just show you the picture so it reminds you. It did look oh. good, like. Oh, yeah. Um, well, it's not coming out. It's been postponed indefinitely due to lack of funds because the publishing house um, has gone into bankruptcy. So that, that sucks. If you've got a film made and it was ready to be released, it's all finished, everything's finished. The fact that they can't pay for marketing and stuff, they're just not even going to bother releasing oh, it. Oh, that's a bit shit, but, isn't it? I mean, it still may see the light of day. I'd imagine it will. Mm. But it's well, just to say, surely another... Yeah, s- sell it to someone or anything. Tell you what, uh, that vacation looks good. I'm not sure. I'm Isn't not. I'm not too. Chasing? This gets me onto like comedies in general now. No, like, just uh, yeah. All around comedies. I've just seen. I've been watching quite a bit of the trailers for Bad Education, the Jack Whitehall. I know. Um, it's bit. There's a series out on BBC Three about it, which is it's a decent enough. It's a nice, easy, funny watch. Um, and they're making a full feature length film on it, which. I think looks quite good. Right. Um. I think it's going to be a decent film. Um. But it looks very. But like, it's British, isn't it? Yeah, it looks very much like. Um, so nothing against uh, American. In between us. Right. Of yeah. Films. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing against American films, but a lot of them are just gross out nonsense now. They're just not funny. Like I, the last few days, I've been looking back. You know the Monty Pythons. Yeah. The Holy Grail yeah. and stuff like that, and some of the scenes in there Holy are just Grail, laugh out loud, brilliant. There you've got aeroplane and and all that kind of stuff, and and Naked Gun even. They were brilliant, Hot Shots. There's nothing like that anymore. You never get a good film like that anymore. No, like love, that funny. I love going back and watching them. Yeah. yeah. It. Have you seen the films that are supposed to be like that now though? It's all drugs, Seth Rogen, and 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 just gross out trying to just do. Like, it's just not funny. Yeah, I don't know. Exactly. I don't know if it's just we got older, but I, I, I don't know. Comedies are so hard to get right. Comedy is a weird thing because everyone's got different types of comedy that they like, don't they? And find funny. Yeah. But I don't know. I want another Hot Shots or something. That's what I'd like to see. Yeah. But all films like that now end up being like the the, the late like the the last few scary movies and stuff, which just a just not funny. Um, but anyway, that's my little rant. Uh, Max Borenstein promises bigger and even better things from Godzilla 2, which is coming out in 2018, which I hope so because I didn't think the last one was particularly good. I thought it was all right. And Matthew, Bro- and Matthew Broderick, who starred in the first one, that was a, go- that was a good Godzilla. 
The, the you think? last one. Because not many people agree with that. The last well, one I, I, was shit. I like the, that other one more. Yeah. I'll, uh, the, the 2014 one, wank. Yeah. So, if they are going to make a be- if they are going to make a second one, please, please, think about it. Yeah. Before actually doing it. Yeah. There were so many moments where it built up to something and then they'd cut away and stuff. It was just, it was frustrating. Oh. Uh, we had some fresh Star Wars pictures released. Yes. I haven't seen them. Jo- oh, I'll yeah. show you them then, shall we? I made a nice little, put them all in together. Uh, Looks all right, doesn't it? This looks good. What does that like? I've never been a big fan of Star Wars, or Th- then you're an absolute goon. I know. I'm sorry, but I'll, I'll, I'll I watch... think they're all right. I I just I'll definitely watch don't them, right? get the whole thing. I, it just passes me by a bit, and I love space and stuff. So I, I'm really looking forward to the new Star Trek, but I don't know, just not massively. See, I can get away with Star Wars more than I can get away with Star Trek. Yeah, the latest Star Trek. Have you watched them? No. Like the new ones with no. the new cast and everything. They're way better. No. You like Star You're a Trekkie, aren't you, Dean? Yeah, I like, yeah, I like Star Trek. You like the new so ones? Star as well, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the new ones are good, yeah. They are. And there's a new one. Is it next year, the next the next one? Yeah. Yeah? I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Quentin Tarantino's next film, uh, The Hateful Eight, got a trailer. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I had a few problems with yeah. that, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you uploaded yeah. half a bit. However, um, yes. Uh, yeah, cannot wait. Seriously, cannot wait for this. It does look good. You want to watch that, will you, John? What's that? The trailer for Quentin Tarantino, The Hateful Eight, which uh, we're talking about, John. The the trailer just reminds me of Pulp Fiction. No, I haven't watched it. It it it, it a little bit does. Yeah. A little bit does, I guess. It's kind of like a bit Pulp Fictiony, a bit Kill Billy. I, I, it's Tarantino. It can't be bad. Zach Gal, how do you say his name? Yeah, that's the fella. Is to be the voice of the Joker in the Lego Batman movie. Uh, who? Did you not like what? What's wrong I with that? I don't like him. Oh, you don't like him? No, I don't like him. Give us a pit. Oh yeah. The Hangover dude again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think he's all right. Uh, that one film's made him though. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he, yeah, he has to kind of play that role all yeah. the time. Yeah, no. Nah, he's yeah. stuck in that one role. Yeah. Hey, if you're gonna get million paid, do you? Would you be bothered? True. Um, that- one thing that, like, on Twitter this past two weeks, I put up a picture. Ronda Roos- Roosie. R- Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey. Sorry. You spoke on it. On it. No, I haven't. That's her. That's yeah, yeah. I tweeted her. Yeah. Um, she's gone on record to say she wants to play Captain Marvel in the future, right? And I will. She let really her. wants to do this role. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Yeah. So there's a few artists that that I follow who have made posters for it and th- some of them look really good i mean i don't know if you've seen that dean but um some of them look if you haven't seen it go on my twitter popcorn underscore medium just cr- scroll down i believe i posted that on the 13th of august um that is now my uh wallpaper yeah, on the yeah. Roof of my bedroom uh, it does look pretty good now i had a bit of a, a few people come back to me and go no she's not she's not a big enough actress for that role she's only done little part time like bit Bit roles and a lot of people were straight on that as well because she's known for shooting her mouth quite a bit. Mm. Yeah. She's always sounding off, and I think a lot of people don't like her. So when yeah. she started sounding off about that. Everyone's just like, yeah. no, no, no. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't really. She's like I say, I, you haven't seen her properly act yet. Like she's not there long enough to really get an idea of what her acting's like. Um, I mean, they they haven't decided anything, but a few directors have even come forward and said that they think she'd be quite good in the role now as well. So yeah. there is a possibility, isn't there? She may take that role on. Um, Xena's getting a reboot. Warrior Princess. <laughs> <laughs> Who's playing it? We don't know yet. They'd like Lucy Lawless to be in a part of it in some way. Yeah. But obviously she's a bit too she's old now older to now, play yeah. the actual princess, so... Could be she could be playing like mother of Xena. She yeah, I think a few people have said that. that and then really cool. we had the Disney conference, and so much news came out of that. Um, they've announced like all their big lineups for the next few years. Uh, Gigantic, which is a Jack and Beanstalk movie, um, made by Tangle and the Frozen teams. Mm. Um, so that'll probably be quite big. That got a lot of buzz, but the Incredibles two, I would probably say, got the most buzz um 
I thought the first one was all right. I don't. I, I didn't think it was all that great though. Like the the amount of people shouting out about it. But um, finding Dory, we had a few images from that for the first time, uh, and we saw like a lot of the movie posters and stuff of all the Cars Three is coming, which I don't think anyone really asked for to be honest. I'll tell you one thing that looks really good to be honest. It looks like it's kind of interstellar. Um, I know where you're going with this. The Martian. Yeah. Matt Damon. I said that, right? I, it feels like it's a prequel to yeah. Interstellar. How Matt Damon got stranded where he is. You know how they turn right, up? Yeah. Yeah. It feels like the beginning of that. Well, obviously, yeah. it's a completely separate film, but it's just, yeah. it's so similar. And it's even got the woman in it as well, hasn't it? The same woman actress oh, in it. Oh, God, that wonder. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, hello. Welcome back to the conversation. I know, oh, yeah. I've just looked the clip there. We've yeah, just yeah, woke him up. He's suffering as well, aren't Christ, you, Christ, I'm doing right. a NFL draft here and I'm still yeah. keeping up and you're just keeping delivering yeah. over. I've me. just literally found it there. <laughs> Good evening, right. Hang on, how do you get that saved onto my front page? Um, There's also something here as well. I'm just looking through um, some stuff here. Rumours suggest Victor Creed, a.k.a. Sabretooth, yeah. will reappear in Hugh Jackman's final Wolverine movie. Apparently so, yeah. Which would be nice because he appeared in the first one. Yeah. And nice to see him. Like come back. Because it's yeah. going to be his last one, isn't it? So. Yeah, he was asking people, wasn't he? I think he brought it up the other week. He was asking people yeah. what he wants his final movie to be about. A lot of people wanted old man well, uh, mm. thingy back, but we'll, I don't know. He doesn't get older, does he? I didn't think he got older. He's not meant to. So how can he be old man? Oh, they, can, they can make anything happen, can't the writers? Yeah. Come up with some, some reason, some excuse. Did you just retweet something there, John? No, no. Oh. Um, you probably did without realising. Yeah, I probably, <laughs> probably did, have, yeah. I'm just reading... Sorry, sorry, yeah, Rick. I, He's just the, looking through the feed that I'm reading from anyway. Yeah. <laughs> the new Pirates of the Caribbean 5. Right? <laughs> Which yeah, I'm looking at. Speed, aren't you? You just <laughs> Are you looking at that now? Carry on, carry oh, on. Oh, wait, no, no. John's taken over. Why? I, I just can't understand why... You can be our newsman. Yeah. Yeah, I've got we are. News right, anchor. Though. Orlando oh, Bloom. One. <laughs> one guy, <yeah. laughs> Orlando Bloom to return uh, to return as World Turner. Why wouldn't you have him in the Power to the Caribbean? Well, he wasn't Caribbean. in the last one. Was no. he not? No. Was he not? No. Well, he's been Jesus in the majority. Of the last one was shit, so it's all good. Well, he's been in the majority of the film, so why wouldn't you have him back? Well, I don't know, but he wasn't in the last one. The last one didn't do very well. They're like, well, let's bring him back again. I think they're just overcooking that a bit now. Yeah, I, I think they should have stopped a few a few movies ago, to be honest. Right, I'm going to first one, I think. On. After the first one. Colin Trevor, who did um, Jurassic World and made it a huge success, yeah. he's uh, been confirmed to direct Star Wars Episode um, 9. Um, so that should be good. Uh, apparently, he's a really nice guy um, and he's creating a lot of buzz in Hollywood at the minute. A lot yeah. of people want him. Um, that uh, this is Disney's further on to Disney's uh, schedule. That's one hell of a schedule they've yeah, got planned. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, Star Wars: Force Awakens, The Good Dinosaur, Zootopia, The Jungle Book. Zootopia. Yeah, and then you've got Civil War next year. Alice Through the Looking Glass, which I could probably pass on. Big Friendly Giant by Spielberg. Yes. Fine and Dory. Pete's Dragon, Doctor Strange, another new Marvel one. Um, Beauty and the Beast, live action. Guardians 2, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. And then you've got another Star Wars. And then you've got Pirates of the Caribbean, 2017, summer. Toy Story 4 as well. Which, Toy Story 3 ended quite nicely. It's another one I don't think they need, but it's the amount of money they make from selling toys and stuff, isn't it? They've, they've got the merchandise keep will be unreal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's a license to print print money, so they'll just crack on. Actually, I think we've got a, a bit of a thank you as well for the uh, like followers that we've got as well. Aye, yeah, we over, yeah over two thousand now. Oh, yeah. Where, John? Do you just like zone out and then like? Have you got narcolepsy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just very tired. Yeah, we hit 2,000 followers on Twitter, so thank you so much. Um, if you're one of them, if you're not, please become one, because it makes me feel special. I like what you did there, though. That's quite, that's quite nice. Do you like that? Yeah, the Hulk yeah. holding a 2,000 with the logo and stuff? Yeah, yeah, it's quite good. Though. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, no, that's good. Uh, hopefully, it'll just keep rolling, um, this little project of mine. and We do it just because we like to do it. It's fun. Same with this podcast. It's and you just... get to see John's beautiful face. Yeah, it's an excuse to yeah, hold up. Do you know why you're going to say something else then? Because you know me though. Hey, hey. 
That's it. And Dean's. Yeah. And Simon's. Yeah. And yours. Well, not too bad. No, 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 definitely. Um, no, let me just do it because we love movies. and That's Even if no thing. one listened to it, well, I'd still do it. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for listening. Um, <laughs> US box office last week, straight out of Crompton, did really well. Did it? Yeah, did really, really well. I'm above gonna, all expectations. I kind of want to see it. I want to see it, yeah. Though, did you know a little fact for you? you? You could have had this one. You can't actually watch Straight Out of Compton in Compton. Because mm. they don't have a cinema. Because it's that der- like, derelict uh, money Shit-hole-ish. driven. Yeah. Uh, Rogue Nation continues to do all right. Man from Uncle didn't make all that much money. But yeah. I do quite fancy seeing it. It's getting decent-ish uh, reviews. It's like a council estate James Bond, isn't it? <laughs> um, if you, yeah, possibly. Um, Fantastic Four has pretty much dropped off, which is good. Um, and then what else did we have? Bloom Camp's Alien Five reportedly put on hold until Ridley Scott's Prometheus Two has been shot. The making number two. Yep. I know. I know. Say that again, sorry. Prometheus Two is being shot right. by Ridley well, Scott. Just take your filming budget. Take a no, massive. No, dump no, what, no. I film. wouldn't agree. Uh, mm. Alien Five's been. Alien delayed Prize. so oh, they can film Prometheus 2 once that's been made they'll then start filming there was some horrible rumours on the internet about Prometheus 2 just some of the storylines that it's going to be based on but I think they're all there was a horrible something again. to do with Prometheus oh that was the first one you know <laughs> what the fir- I, I, you know what I enjoyed the first one it was I'm sorry my life. I will never I'm not see again. the biggest alien fan I actually thought it was alright I enjoyed the visualisation of it you know all the scenes I think that's what got me and the atmosphere but I didn't like how stupid and thick the characters were and how they acted And you, you know, know what helps as well I think it was one of the first films I watched on my new Samsung telly at the time right. and right, it looked yeah. gorgeous so I was a bit more blown away with that probably yeah. that works beautiful yeah prawn crackers on a podcast the perfect food <laughs> <laughs> I've never had one before <laughs> you tried a prawn cracker? No, it's my first time. I'm a virgin. No, I'm not. Uh, yeah, The Martian got the, the trailer and it does look, like you said, in the stellarish. Mm. And very, I, I really want to see that. I'm just looking at some of these as well. Uh, another day, another remake. Furious 7 director James Wan on board and produce a new Mortal Kombat reboot. The others were shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what, 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 what what's... I don't What's know. going to be good about this one? I don't know. Possibly fuck off. They're all. constantly trying to make video games. Yeah. Good, good movie video game thing. I mean, the new Hitman's getting pretty bad reviews. So. Trying to all being bad. Quietly. Go on, have a big crunch. Well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Fine. The new Hitman apparently is not that good. Um. So Universal and Disney dominate the box office this year so far. Sixty-one percent of total ticket sales just between them two. That is a lot of money. You know Jesus. what films they are, don't you? Yeah. Piss. Three guesses. What films they are. Well, Avengers. Yeah. Jurassic World. Yeah. And um, that, That's all you really need. Well, yeah. Them two just destroyed everything. Yeah. And uh, like we said in the last podcast, Sony are having a dismal year. So that drops them right down. No one's coming close to them. So, yeah, they, they're all happy. Um, that's a bribe. And that's, that's the news, folks. That's all. That's all, folks. Oh. Anything to add, Graham? No, no, nothing to add for me except my NFL draft's going rather well at the oh, moment. Oh, splendid, that's good. It's good um, to hear. I've, got, I've drafted Richard Masters at wide receiver. I, I don't blame you. Yeah, we, I got... Wide receiver? I got tried like, that doesn't sound to play weird at all, American football yesterday. I can't walk. Because <laughs> he was a wide receiver. Surprisingly, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> oh my god! To be fair, you couldn't catch either. I nearly caught one. I nearly, I nearly caught, caught one. I nearly caught one. It bounced around oh, a few oh. times. It's, uh, you didn't yeah. catch any. I didn't. I was playing defense, and I don't. I know defense. Defe- defense is way easier. No, it's not. I had to charge, run like crazy all the time. Just right, fun. and it's another language. I've That's never the watched name of the game. What? Right, I've never watched American football in my life. Right, um, they're stood on the line going. Uh, Huh, huh, alpha, gold, mirrored, wheel it, wheel it, wheel it. And I'm like, what? What are you talking about? I don't know what I'm doing. 
<laughs> all these different code names. And they were, you know, when they were explaining it to me, and they were like, do you get it? And I'm like, just, just nodding. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, there was about 40 different words I had to learn that meant different runs and different uh, strategies and things. And I'm just like, but then you had, you had the different numbers for who it would get passed to. And then you had, um, what was the other thing as well? And then you could mirror it, mirror it all, so you'd, you'd run the opposite way. But they'd only shout that just before you had to do it, so you'd have to be right on the ball. Uh, yeah, well, I guess you would be right I was so ball, conf- yeah. I, I was so confused. But it was brilliant, right? Because I was doing runs. No one would cover me, because it was like, <laughs> he's not going to catch it. No one's going to pass to him. <laughs> I did do a few good you runs, did. though, in you the did. training. No, you did. There was one where I just... Because they were trying to teach you how to Burns run. Burns an eight-year-old kid off. Yeah, yeah. He was really good at burning that eight-year-old kid off. He just snapped him. <laughs> In your face, oh. child. Oh. <laughs> I even dropped it when he passed it to yeah. me once. That was embarrassing. But um, uh, you were supposed to run up to this gate thing and then you had to quickly turn and go the other way. <laughs> and with, with, my trainers on, with my trainers on, I literally tried to turn and just slid. I didn't change direction at all. I just kept going in one direction. And I was like, yeah, that doesn't work. So the next one, I literally just thought, right, I'll charge it. And I thought, charge right, I'm, I'm faster than some of them. Charge the eight-year-old kid yeah. that was chasing you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but have you seen Rick run? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, trust me. I saw I'm quite a quick runner. It's the way that you run. <laughs> well, have you seen me run? I've what do you mean the way that I've run? I have a it's... normal run. No, it's not. It ain't normal. You can't say anything. You'll walk. You walk like you've got a hip hop your ass, <laughs> <laughs> and it gets more and more like obvious the drunker you get. Because last night you literally yeah. were. Your arms get wider when you walk. Someone could have drove right through your legs in a four by four. I was pissed without any worry. <laughs> your legs get wider, John, oh, just to make you more stable base, isn't it? So you I'm don't conscious fall about my run now. Yeah, but I have, I have, a, I have a, a normal walk sober. Really? No, no. 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 Yeah, the shop, dickhead. Right, carry on. <laughs> Another little story I want to share, just to embarrass him. I took me and me, me and John took me brother to the gym on Wednesday, <laughs> didn't we, John? Go on, just eat that. Go on. Can I? Can I? Can I just yeah, break really quickly? Yeah. Go on. yeah. Um, <laughs> we took him to the gym on Wednesday, and we killed him. Two and a half hours on arms. So, to the point where you have to <laughs> have wipe your brother's ass. Yeah. Yesterday, uh, Friday, he was shouting from the bathroom, going, Rick, I can't wipe my ass. Can't bend his arm round. So funny. We didn't have grill him. And right. tomorrow we're going to do chest, aren't we? You grilled Rick's little brother, did you? <laughs> you should be really proud of yourself, oh. John. <laughs> yeah, so, well, well, oh yeah, I can, I can still go. Um, yeah, you walk like you now. What do you mean you can still go? What? Are you going to cancel on me? Well, no. Kev was going to go to a meal and come back late. Well, she's but she was going to come that. back like later than... You wouldn't be allowed to do that. So. so Sam's not doing chest, is he? Yeah. Yep. His arm's not working. How can you do chest if his arm's not working? Well, I'm well, hoping they're better now. That was from Wednesday. He'd be all right now, yeah, man. He should, be. <laughs> he should be. Well, after running yesterday American I'm football, sorry, I don't need to do legs now for at least three weeks. Give over. Behave. I can... F- right, the inside of my leg here... I have to, when I'm driving, I have to lift my leg no, back onto the clutch. I don't know what, you, ju- you just said Sam's going to be all right on that Wednesday, and you're, you're whinging on that they're going to be all, not oh, good for three weeks. Oh, the ache. That's, I honestly do need to do legs more. This yes, is terrible. Yes, you do. Because we were only there two hours, weren't we, yesterday? Yeah. And, I mean, there was a lot of running, but I, I shouldn't ache this much from just that. Right, really. so what are we doing now then? Sorry. Uh, guess, the, guess this theme. We didn't, we didn't do it last week, we forgot. So this was four weeks ago, I think. Uh, what's this one? The treatment for my spine affects my DNA. You sacrificed your power so you could walk. What do you know about it? I've lost my fair share. Huh. Dry your eyes, Eric. It doesn't justify what you've done. You've no idea what I've done. I know that you took the things that mean the most to me. Well, maybe you should have fought harder for them. If you want to fight, Eric, Sit I will down. give you a fight! Let him come. You abandoned me! You took her away and you abandoned me! Angel, Azazel, Emma, Banshee. We were supposed to protect them! Eric, where were you, Charles? You abandoned us all. Do you know that was, John? John? Do you know that was? Yeah, that one, isn't it? Yeah. No one's listened to him. If you knew, well done. 
I can't even confirm it because I can't remember what it was. No, <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be more organised in the next one. We'll play it live or something. Stuart, we had a big night out last night. Yeah, yeah. I haven't had much time to prepare. I've been at work all day. <laughs> Wait, right, what's this one? What's this one? I watch you. You're never drunk. Oh, that's... That's real control. Control is power. That's power. Is that why they fear us? We have the fucking power to kill, that's why they fear us. They fear us because we have the power to kill arbitrarily. A man commits a crime, he should know better. We have him killed and we feel pretty good about it. Or we kill him ourselves and we feel even better. It's not power, though. That's justice. It's different than power. Power is when we have every justification to kill. And we don't. Gemma's looking at us so confused. I put him in after her. Right, okay. <laughs> I was thinking I'd lost my hearing or something. And just to emphasise, if you haven't listened to, would you rather please go and find it in Get your iTunes. Hand off my phone, that includes you, Gemma. <laughs> You lot need to listen to it, don't agree? Yeah, you'll not look at John in the same light again. You won't. You'll always have this little bit of disgust in your right eye. Dirty pervy. Absolutely, it was, abs- it was disgusting. I'm so. Why have we even got him here today? Why? I don't know. Have you not listened to it? You don't want to listen to it. It's brilliant. It is, it is brilliant. It's, it's genuinely it's brilliant. Horrible. <laughs> You're a pack of bastards. Oh, I didn't know what he was doing. Was... You passed me the phone with a question on it. That's you should have had your own question. Um, I was put on the spot. Um, however, so was Dean. So however, was Simon. I was prepared to answer it, but Rick cut the, said the time was up on the podcast. So. Yeah, sure, dickhead. I'm not in Rushford. Definitely right. listen to it. Right, go on, carry on. Um, and then obviously join us for Popcorn Wars. Uh, the the Would You Rather should be every two weeks or so, I would imagine. Um, so yeah, subscribe please. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks very much. Thanks for coming, Graham. No problem. Thank you for, for coming. Me, thank you for <laughs> to your own house. Host my in my <laughs> house. Um, <sighs> Thanks for all your input there, Dean. You're welcome. You can go back to sleep now, John. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.